In this video, we'll show you how to descode your dual boiler. The first thing you want to do is to remove the water tank from behind the unit and locate your batch code. Your batch code is typically the first four digits you see on the sticker. Also, for this version, you want to make sure it's not been serviced by Breville in the past. And if your dual boiler is different than these two requirements, you can click up here in the top right corner at any time to see our other descaling videos. You'll need a 1 8 flathead screwdriver, a microfiber towel, some descale solution, and a spoon. Let's begin with the unit off. Press and hold the one cup button and power at the same time. Next, push the up button, and then push the menu button. You'll see push on the LCD. Place the towel on top of the drip tray. Then, remove the rubber plug. Let's unscrew the left drain valve. Water from the coffee boiler should begin to drain. Now let's unscrew the right drain valve. The contents from the steam boiler may be hot, so please be careful. It may take a couple minutes to completely drain both boilers. After both boilers have been completely drained, you'll want to empty out your drip tray. Then reinsert the drip tray back once it's emptied, and gently tighten both valve screws. Next, let's remove the water tank from the back of the unit, and remove the filter from the water tank. You'll want to fill the water tank with a liter of water, which is about half the water tank. Next, you'll want to take your descale solution and pour it into the water tank. Mix the descale solution with a spoon. Continue to mix the solution until the water becomes clear again. Let's put the water tank back into the unit and lock it in place. Then push the manual button to begin descaling. If you get a valve message, you likely still have water in your coffee boiler. You'll need to unscrew the left drain valve again. Then push the one cup button. After all the water from the coffee boiler has been drained, just empty your drip tray. Then reinsert the drip tray and gently tighten the left valve screw. Push the manual button to continue. The first portion of descaling will be about 20 minutes. And once that's complete, you should see push on the LCD screen. Place a rag on top of the drip tray. Let's unscrew the left drain valve. Water from the coffee boiler should begin to drain. Now let's unscrew the right drain valve. The contents from the steam boiler may be hot, so please be careful. It may take a couple minutes to completely drain both boilers. After both boilers have been completely drained, you'll want to empty out your drip tray. Then reinsert the drip tray back once it's emptied, and gently tighten both valve screws. Remove the water tank from the back of the unit and discard any remaining descale solution. Fill the water tank with a liter of water or about halfway. Let's put the water tank back into the unit and lock it in place. If you get a valve message, you'll likely still have water in your coffee boiler. You'll need to unscrew the left drain valve again. Then push the one cup button. After all the water from the coffee boiler has been drained, just empty your drip tray. Then reinsert the drip tray and gently tighten the left valve screw. Push the manual button to continue. Then push the manual button to flush the unit. It should take about five minutes. And once that's complete, you should see push on the LCD screen. Place a rag on top of the drip tray. 
Let's unscrew the left drain valve. Water from the coffee boiler should begin to drain. Now let's unscrew the right drain valve. The contents from the steam boiler may be hot, so please be careful. It may take a couple minutes to completely drain both boilers. After both boilers have been completely drained, you'll want to empty out your drip tray. Then reinsert the drip tray back once it's emptied, and gently tighten both valve screws. Remove the water tank from the unit and reinstall your water filter. Then fill your water tank to the max level. Install your water tank with a water filter back into the unit and push the manual button. If you get a valve message, you likely still have water in your coffee boiler. You'll need to unscrew the left drain valve again. Then push the one cup button. After all the water from the coffee boiler has been drained, just empty your drip tray. Then reinsert the drip tray and gently tighten the left valve screw. Let's reinstall the rubber drain cover. Push the manual button to continue. And once your unit gets to temperature, you've successfully descaled your machine.